again. Coming infield now, looking for options. Has to turn back towards the number eight, Alex Hunt. Down the line, gives it back to Hunt, who carried on his run. Chance to cross the ball into the box. Does, and Jackson get it away, but into the edge of the box. To the number 23, and he's that fly, and it's just gone top right. Just missed the top corner by a couple inches, and that was probably the first introduction that the Sutton fans will have to your one to watch, Joe Felix. Yeah, well, he's playing on the left this afternoon, out and left back, but... Uh French now looking long towards Sivy and Davis between them. Davis doesn't quite beat how to it. Sivy trying to do it. Harris now pressed. He's got the ball. Davis trying to get in there. Goes around the keeper. Here's Harris. Open goal and he's going to miss. There was one York City player on the line that put off Harris enough and he's put it wide right of the post and that I don't think he can get a bigger chance than that in a game without scoring. No, that is something that Harris will not want to see again. The goal was at his mercy. Never came, and York will have to go backwards again. Yeah, he just ran into a bit of traffic there. I think uh, Nathaniel George probably should have gone round the outside if he wanted to create an attack. And now a nice switch of play there. Finds Fallowfield across the board. Here's Akinyemi, and it's arguably be a bigger miss than Harris's one. Yeah, Ends that's an absolute howler for Akinyemi. All he needed to do was just keep his eye on the ball and slot at home, and he didn't he, do it. Here comes Sutton the other end. Here's Davis, told to go left. Here's Simper, edge of the box, has a go, blocks, deflected, and out for a corner kick. And Akinyemi now heading his hands. He can't believe it. Yeah, so it was a ball that came in from the right, and I can tell he just took his eyes off it. The ball in behind. Jackson shouting up, 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 up from below us. And they've worked it well now. York on the right-hand side to release Fallowfield again. Ball into the box now. And this time, I think French has done enough to put Akiyemi off behind him. Because this cross ends up just going behind the striker. And that'll play for a York throw-in. So French must have gotten a touch on the cross just to take it away from the attacking player. We would have had another flag. Yeah, but they know the drill by now. So <laughs> best, not make it, best not make that run in that situation. Here's Boateng, infield, trying to play the ball in behind for Harris. He'll get there first, and it's going to be blocked, the effort. And out of play for a corner kick and a bit of... There was a little push on Felix there by Harris after the shot, which then quickly followed by a high five. So maybe a bit of respect by the block there by the... Here's Watson now with the goal kick. Goes long to Akinyemi. It looked like there was a hand used there as he brings it down. But here comes Akinyemi and a great block in there by Muller. Simper asked the question of the referee for the handball. I thought he, he chested it down, but then it caught his arm in the process. But it's going to be a York City corner kick. So close to the half-time whistle. Hunt with the corner kick, looking towards the back post, towards Howe, who does make contact with it, but goes well wide of the target in the end. And that'll be up after, is now down the bottom. Referees come over to just tell him to go away. And the shouts of on, and here comes Akinyemi here. One on one with the keeper, plays it across goal, and it could be a chance for 1 0, and it will be for York City. They finally got one of those long balls correct, and they hit it towards their big man Akinyemi, and he plays it across very unselfishly for number 15 Marvin Armstrong and it's the perfect start to the second half for the away team yeah well constructed goal by York City I think Steve Morris will be a bit disappointed that his players have been undone by a long ball on that right hand channel Akinyemi ran a mile to get there full credit to him and he just played a simple ball across to Armstrong who tapped it into an empty net so Good play from a York City perspective, but maybe just a little bit too simple. Great timing to get level so soon. Simper standing over the free kick, takes it. It's not a bad ball in. Look for Davis, and it's got fun, the equaliser. Cups his ear towards the travelling away fans and then turns back to the jumping up and down home fans. And what, three minutes later after going a goal behind, Davis finds a goal to bring Sutton level. Well, it's always a bit sweet when you score against your former club, so that's what the cut to the air was by the striker. But lovely ball in by Simper. And it was straight on the head of Davis, about 10 yards away from goal. 
lovely glancing header into the ground. That's what they always say. You've got to head it into the ground to beat the keeper. That's what it does. It just bounces into the roof of the net, and Sutton United, quick as a flash, are on level terms. Substitute now. I think it's the number 21, Cameron John. So the birthday boy is now on at left back. Here's Batty having a go from range, and Arnold just goes down to his right-hand side to save it. So just to confirm all three substitutions, you've got Deepo Akinyemi off for Tari Sinclair. You've got Billy Chadwick now on for Ashley Nathaniel George. And then you've got Cameron John on for Dara O'Connor. We'll aim it towards him, competing. He does get the flick on, aim towards Coley, trying to use his pace to get in behind. He's going to fall for Nalazan here on the edge of the box, gets taken out from behind, referee says no. But it's still going here at Sutton now with Harris on the left-hand side. Harris, ball into the box, looks for Coley, and it's going to go in off the post for 2-1. It's his third goal in four games, and quite a hilarious attempt at a somersault there for the goal. But Josh Coley fist bumps to the crown with 18 minutes to go, give Sutton the lead. Well, I thought Sutton would have been could have got themselves a free kick on the edge of the box, but credit to them, they kept going. It was uh, Jaden Harris on the left-hand side who retrieved the ball. Pinpoint cross from that left-hand side. Aguiar's gone over to take the corner, the corner kick on the far side. Gone in towards the back post. Howell heads it back towards goal. Arnold gets two hands on it, then gets taken out in the process. A knee's left flat on the ground, a bit of a heap. Again, back up to his knees now. I think it might have been John Lewis who went in on him and just goes over to apologise with a pat on the back. Now to Batty. Looks right, but now turns left. Tries floating in behind towards Sinclair. 1-2 with Felix, and now Felix takes the pass one, throws it across goal, and two players have ended up in the back of the net, but not the ball. No idea how that's not gone in. Great play by Joe Felix to get in behind and he pinged the cross in and I think maybe Linnell John Lewis just didn't quite time his run he almost went too quickly for the ball here's Pierce now one-on-one -on -one with Arnold goes round him angles tight pulls it back and it's going to be tapped home by the shop John Lewis he's been an impact sub since his came on had a physical presence and with five minutes to go finds the equaliser for York City Well, credit to John Lewis, just seconds after missing such a good opportunity to level the scores. He then does, he gets it right. Of some good play down that left-hand side. The low cross in, and he just stretches his leg out to get on the end of it. And well, 85 minutes on the clock. Sutton United have got to come again here. Daniel Batty whips it in, it's not a bad ball in, Jackson ends up just flicking it on towards the back post towards Fallowfield, he'll let it run out for a throw in, but the referee has decided that's enough, and the points will be shared here at the VBS so both teams remain unbeaten in the opening four, two wins and two draws